Yo, yo, yo! Highway 83 YouTubers, we're back and we got a classic for you tonight. We're talking about uh, being a first time samurai owner. I see you guys on the internet. Get your first samurai, you don't know squat. You're just like a deer in the headlights. You don't know nothing about this vehicle. You're used to a civilian passenger vehicle. Nothing with this badass. In, in Japanese, Suzuki Samurai means badass vehicle. Check it out now. I mean, you're talking to a guy. Back in the 80s, I won a Wisconsin uh, Truck Driving Championships. Google it. Check it out. Tony, Suzuki guy, championship. You'll, you'll find it. But anyway, um, yeah, we're talking about you just bought this Samurai. And uh, the classic questions of the amateur, novice, entry-level Samurai owner. And uh, if you're on any of the forums or the Facebook groups, these are the questions I get answered asked all the time and you just get blasted roasted for asking them all that great stuff so i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna answer them for you tonight and uh very first question is how the hell do you get the hood open you know normal car you get up underneath in here and uh in the uh, kick panel and you're popping hoods samurai not so much take it to your mechanic they don't even know how to get into this bad boy you know what i'm saying so uh, let's show you how to open up the old bonnet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you access the hood of the Suzuki Samurai. Glove box, but it does not hold your gloves. It holds the release mechanism for the hood. So you want to reach your arm into here. Camera, camera lady will zoom in and get the hood release and you're gonna pop the hood by pulling that. The theory behind it, I suppose, is uh, you have this locked. Somebody cannot uh, get into the hood. I don't know, but, you know, it's pretty cheap. You could blast in there and break it and get in there. But anyway, that's how you access the hood. And uh, if you don't know about it, you're never going to find it. Trust me. So it's all good. On to the next, uh, the next question, guys. All right, guys, here's the most epic question ever asked about the Samurai. What the hell is this switch under the dash? Like, straight up, what the hell is this thing? You go on the, the Facebook group, you ask this question about the switch, you are just going to get blasted, roasted, toasted, just shoved under the bus. Guys are going to run you over like, ha! Switch is about to switch. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Today we're going to tell you what the switch is, and I don't want to hear you guys asking about it. You're going to say, just go to that 83 YouTube, blah, bam, that's the switch. What the switch is, your check engine light comes on. Here's a zoom in of what the switch is going to look like underneath the dash. So at about 50, 80,000, 100,000 miles, they designed it for the check engine light to come on. Then you're supposed to say, oh my God, this truck's broke. What am I supposed to do? You take it to the mechanic. The guy slides up under the dash right up around here underneath the keys. That's where the switch is. He does like this. He goes, bam, that'll be a hundred bucks. Your truck's fixed. And you're just like, what, really? But that's what it does. It just turns on. All right, when the check engine light turns on, this turns it off. It's just a maintenance light switch. That's all. You go on the internet, guys are going to be like, dude, don't touch that thing. That's going to be an ejection seat. That's going to be a self-termination button. That's going to... Who the hell knows? They're just going to come up with some crazy stuff and just demolish you. So don't, a don't ask. Don't ask about the switch. Nobody... You don't even want to know. They're going to tear you apart. So that is the switch. It's attached to the back of the cluster with these wires. You can find it by tracing it. It'll be underneath here. That's the switch, the answer. Boom, we got it. Okay, now we'll go on to another commonly asked question about the Samurai. How come there's no heat coming out of these vents up here? Well, guess what? You're never gonna get heat because it's not designed to come out of these vents. Heat only comes out of the defrost and out of the floor vents here. Unlike any other vehicle you've ever had, so you're not going to get heat. Only cold air comes out of here. Only hot air comes out of, uh, only hot air is going to come out the bottom. That's what you're going to get. 
A lot of times people complain about not having enough heat and if you watched our previous video last week I showed you how to clean out the heater box and you're gonna get a ton of heat so if you if you want to watch the last week's video drill your hole with the vacuum cleaner you're gonna get a ton of heat and you're gonna be like wow this thing does have a lot of heat but it's just trapped so that's that's another uh, classic question about the samurai heater sucks but it doesn't it, it's pretty good so uh, now we'll move on to this Samurai is the slowest vehicle I've ever driven my entire life, which it is, not gonna lie to you. This 64 horsepower is not, not impressive by any means, but she does get up to speed. The, the thing people do not do is they, they shift too early on the tachometer. When you're pounding through gears, this red line, that's, that means, you know, wind her up, get her up. All the power is on the top of the RPM chart. So when you're driving, you want to ride first, second, third gear. You want to get third gear all the way up 5,000, almost 6,000 RPM before you shift. So when you're sitting inside of here, if you come around, you know, I'm just chilling in here. Just like, people are like, oh, dude, the engine's about to burst out of the hood. This thing's about to fall apart. It's a bucket of bolts. No, keep pushing it. So you're getting in the third gear. You just fourth gear, and then you just fourth gear pedal all the way down to the floor and that's your top speed fifth gear forget about it fifth gear is just a novelty in these things it's a joke fifth gear you put it into fourth fifth gear you're gonna have to immediately downshift into fourth gear every 12 seconds it's just fourth gear and just pedal to the floor baby that's your top speed top speed might be 65 might be 80 but that's it that's all you're gonna get out of this old girl so it's just drive it like you stole it. It's a samurai. Remember, Japanese, badass. That's right. Now we're going on to the last couple things of a beginner samurai owner. Okay, last two things I'm going to mention about uh, what sucks about the samurai, but you just don't know about it yet. Okay, straight up. The wiper system sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. Wipers move slow as hell compared to any other vehicle you've ever had. They do have a grounding issue, so if they're really bad, you can re-clean uh, up the grounds and get your, your wipers moving faster. But even on high speed, they're not very fast, so just get used to it. The other thing, a lot of times people will say the 4x4 system does not work. Um, very common, the manual locking hubs. You need to take off this cap, the 6 10 millimeter bolts, pull off the cap, make sure the gear is engaging. I'll make another video about this very soon, cleaning up and re-greasing that. But as long as that is engaging, you should be, you should be good. That's 90% of the time if the 4x4 is not working, it's because the hubs are not engaged properly. Otherwise, it's an all-mechanical system, and it was designed to, to work very flawlessly. So clean out your hubs, make sure they're working. Um, that is basically the... The simple questions people ask when they first buy the Samurai. So uh, check out this video and most of your questions will be answered. Otherwise, I thought it would be fun just to go over some of these things that we joke about a lot on the, on the Facebook groups and, and the old forums for the old guys that used to. And I thought it'd be funny for the guys that are veterans and uh, like ball busting all the newcomers and they're like, hey man, what's up with that switch? You know, <laughs> the switch. <laughs> So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to hit you up with a few new videos coming up. Uh, hope you guys have a good, uh, good weekend, and it's Miller time over at Highway 83 with the old... Ah, yeah. See you later, guys.